Wow. <laughs> It's so crazy to me. I literally can't tell a difference. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are gonna be testing out another eyeshadow dupe. I'm so excited. I've been filming these videos ever since I discovered the Goddess palette from Alter Ego, which was a dupe for the Natasha Denona Gold palette. I was floored by that palette, and ever since then, I've really enjoyed comparing their new launches. We have another Natasha Denona palette dupe that we're gonna be trying out today, and I'm so excited. I've seriously just been dying to sit down and compare the two. I have not yet tried these on my eyes. I've swatched a couple of the colors, but I'm gonna be doing swatches later in the video. So today we're gonna to be comparing the Natasha Denona Biba palette, which is an amazing neutral palette. I love this one. I find myself using this on myself and I also use it on other people every single time I do someone else's makeup, just because there are so many amazing tones in here. I'm trying not to flip it up too far because this shade actually has fallen out of the palette before. So here's what the Biba palette looks like. It has 15 different shades in it. There's a lot of different formulas in here. There's a lot of mattes, there's some satins, and there's also some metallics. And the dupe that we're going to be comparing is this right here from Alter Ego. This is called the Sahara Palette. I actually love the packaging on this. It has a nice soft touch on the front. And let me show you guys the inside. Here is the inside of the Sahara palette from Alter Ego. As you can see, the shades in here are almost identical to the Biba palette. It is a dupe for that. So like we usually do, I'm gonna be using one palette on each eye. So let's just get right into it. I'm gonna go ahead and prime both eyes using the NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I'm gonna be using the shade Light. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of this on the eyelid. And I'm going to brush that out with a concealer brush. And I like to blend this primer out all the way from the lash line up to the brow bone. And once I feel like the brush has evenly distributed it, I like to take my finger and just press that into the skin even more so that there's no harsh lines. All right, let's go ahead and start using the eyeshadow palettes. I'm gonna first begin with the Biba palette and I'm gonna dip into the shade Tusk. By the way, I have cleaned as many doubles that I have in brushes so that I can use the same brushes with the different palettes without messing anything up. So I'm gonna start with Tusk and I'm gonna kind of buff that into the crease a little bit. And I'm also gonna apply it all over the eyelid. I kind of just want this to be a nice base. Sorry if you guys see lash glue in my eyes. I'm gonna try to get most of that out. Some of it just stays for longer than I would have wanted to. But anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and continue buffing out that shade called Tusk from the lash line all the way up to a little bit above the crease. I'm also making sure to blend it out toward the end of the brow. Okay, taking that same brush, but it's a clean brush, I'm gonna go into the Alter Ego palette and I'm gonna dip into the corresponding shade called Sands. I'm gonna load this up on the brush and I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing where we set the primer and then kind of buff this up toward the brow. I forgot to mention earlier, the price difference of these are insane. Obviously the pan sizes in the Natasha Denona palettes are much larger, but as you guys probably know, Natasha Denona palettes cost usually around $129. That's how much the Biba palette costs. This Sahara palette from Alter Ego retails for $16. So the price difference is absolutely insane. I am somebody who's a huge Natasha Denona fan, but I also understand that a lot of us don't have, you know, an extra $130 lying around for an eyeshadow a palette. And that's why I think these videos are so fun for me to film because I'm able to really see how they perform side by side and if you can really create an identical look using a palette that's significantly less expensive. So based off of these two shades, I did notice that the Natasha Denona one is slightly deeper, but we're just going to continue to go throughout the entire tutorial and see how the end result looks. All right, moving back into the Natasha Denona palette, I'm going to take this shade right here called Buff. I'm kind of wanting to do something a little bit more burgundy. And I'm taking this on a Persona Cosmetics brush and I'm gonna start to use this to really start to shape out the crease and also start to shape out the edge of the eye a little bit. So I'm just buffing and blending that all over the eye, using it to start to create that nice shape on the outer corner and also defining the crease. Okay, once I feel like that's pretty blended out, I'm gonna take a clean Persona brush and I'm gonna be taking the corresponding shade called Savannah from the Sahara palette and I'm gonna do the same exact thing where I start to build that up in the crease a little bit And I'm also using it on the outer portion of the eye. Okay, wait a second you guys I think that that was the wrong shade. I think the corresponding shade is actually Adobe. Some of these neutral tones are so Similar that it's hard for me to uh, tell the difference in the pan. Sorry. That was an honest mistake um, Adobe definitely seems like it's the matching color. So I'm just gonna continue to build that up using Adobe and I'm just layering and buffing and blending until I get the same intensity on this eye that I have on this eye. 
I'm going back over this eye over here using that brush. I didn't add any more product. And this is the brush that I used with the Natasha Denona shadows. I'm just kind of continuing to blend and buff that just to make sure that both sides look as similar as possible. So one thing I'm immediately noticing is that the Natasha Denona side, the edges look way less messy than this side. The tones so far are almost identical and obviously this is why we do the eyes first so that we can clean up the fallout, but there's definitely more fallout with this eye versus this eye, just something that I'm noticing. Obviously not a deal breaker, especially if you do your eyes first because you can always clean up the fallout. All right, let's go ahead and keep going. I'm gonna take this really pretty burgundy called Pasha. I'm gonna tap off the extra and I really wanna start carving out the crease even more using this deep burgundy shade. So I'm just taking that along the lash line almost as an eyeliner and then when I have a little less product on the brush, I'm sweeping that through the crease just to continue to shape that out a little bit. Okay, next we're gonna go into the corresponding shade in this palette called Sierra. Oh no, it's Fox. Oh gosh, you guys. Hang on, I gotta do some swatches. They're so similar. I'm having a hard time um, figuring out which is which. Okay, yep. I'm gonna wipe off this brush. <laughs> After doing some swatching, I concluded that Fox is actually the corresponding shade. They look a little bit different in the pan. All right, let's do this eye. I'm just gonna do the same thing, kind of taking it down across the lash line almost as an eyeliner and then buffing it into the crease once there's a little bit less on the brush. Okay, well, are we even noticing a difference at this point? I'm not. It looks very, very similar. Mm, kind of identical to the other eye. And I actually really like how this shade is blending out a little bit more than this shade, I think. All right, let's dip into some of the shimmer shades. Moving back into the Biba palette, I'm gonna take Monroe, which is one of my favorites in the palette. And I'm gonna take that on a brush and I'm gonna start to kind of pat that in this inner portion of the eye. And I'm wanting to keep that shape that we created. So I'm kind of just filling in the blanks, keeping most of the intensity in this inner portion here. And then as we get to this outer portion, I'm taking pressure off of the brush and just kind of blending it into the existing shadows. That is so pretty. Let's go ahead and do the same thing with the corresponding shade in this palette called Jewel. The shimmers are a little easier to uh, recognize. And I'm gonna take a little bit of this and we're gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna start to layer that in the inner portion. Again, keeping that shape almost like a cut crease. And then as I get toward the end here, I'm just kind of lightly tapping that over the existing shades to blend those together. Wow. <laughs> I almost think I like the shimmer in this palette better. Am I crazy or does that look a little more intense? I'm gonna take a little bit more of Monroe and kind of layer it up. I'm trying to get the exact same intensity and maybe it just takes a little more building up on this eye to get that super metallic look. I still think this looks better. That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Okay, I'm taking the brushes that we used for this outer corner here and I'm kind of running over that with that same burgundy shade. I actually did not add any more product to the brush. I just don't wanna lose that. And since we just applied the shimmer shade, I feel like some of it kind of got lost. So I'm just doing that on both eyes. Okay, I'm gonna dip into the black shade in the Bebo palette. This is called Spot. And I'm taking that on a smaller brush and I'm really just wanting to intensify this outer portion of the lash line. And I'm not even gonna bring it in toward the crease as much as just buff it out toward the edge just to add a little bit more dimension right along the lash line. Ooh, that's really pretty. Same thing in this palette, I'm going into Mesa, which is the black shade in the Alter Ego palette. And I'm gonna do the same thing just along the lash line on the right eye. Okay, this is getting insane. These are so similar. It's actually kind of wild. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the mustard yellow shade in this palette called Prairie, and I'm just gonna take that on a fluffy blending brush, and I'm just gonna take the tiniest bit, and I'm gonna kind of press that into my hand just so there's not too much. And I'm just wanting to kind of add the yellow up toward the brow a little bit. So I'm kind of mixing it into these shades up here. I just think that yellow shade is so beautiful. Plus, I wanted to see the difference between the two. The corresponding shade in this palette is called Plains. Same thing, I'm just gonna take a little bit, kind of tap it off in my hand, and just kind of run that right here. I'm using a very light hand, but I am pressing it down enough to really help it blend into the existing shadows. You guys, I can't believe how similar those look. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe away the fallout under the eye. Before I wipe it off fully, you can definitely see that there's way more fallout with the Alter Ego palette. But again, not a deal breaker for me, just something I wanted to point out since we're comparing. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up the edges on both eyes. 
there's hardly any fallout on the Natasha Denona side. I'm just gonna go ahead and take my finger and press down the edges on both eyes. There's also definitely something weird happening here. I can't figure it out, but it kind of gathered right here on my eye. That was probably just a mistake that I made earlier. Maybe I didn't blend out the um, primer well enough. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm gonna take a clean brush and just try to buff that to see if I can smooth it out. I'm actually gonna dip it into Sands, which is that base shade we used in the beginning. I'm just trying to smooth everything over. I'm not sure why that happened. Ooh, on a side note, I'm really liking how this eye look is looking. Let's go ahead and apply some Top Lash Mascara. I'm gonna be taking the Believe Beauty Voluminize Mascara, and I'm just going to apply two coats to the top lashes. Okay, so mascara is on. I really, really like this mascara. I did end up doing two coats on the top lashes. Let's go through the complexion quickly so we can move back to the eyes. I'm gonna take the Cover FX Gripping Primer and I'm gonna use that all over the face, but mainly focusing it in the T-zone. Oh, by the way, I already did my brows off camera, as you can tell, and I used the Anastasia Brow Wiz in dark brown. For foundation, I'm gonna be taking the Believe Beauty Skin Finish Foundation. This stuff is $5 and it is so good. It's like my favorite right now, which is wild because there's so many new foundations that have launched. So many good foundations too, but for some reason, I love how this wears on my skin. I'm gonna blend that out with the Real Techniques um, Expert Face Brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and distribute that all over the skin. By the way, the foundation shade that I wear is called Nude. So I'm just kind of distributing that all over. And then I'm gonna take the Eco Tools sponge. This came in a travel set, and I just tried this out when I filmed the video testing out the Allure Best of Beauty Drugstore Award winners. If you guys haven't seen that yet, I will have it linked down below. Um, but this is one of the winners, and I really like it. I'm just gonna use the sponge to press the foundation into the skin and to blend it out. I just realized I didn't really wipe away as much on this eye as I did on this eye. So it looks a little bit uneven right now, but it will all even out when we do the lower lash line. Okay, once that's blended out, I'm gonna take the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. I'm gonna use the shade light sand for under the eyes and I'm gonna be using that same sponge to blend that out. I'm gonna take a little bit of the CoverGirl True Blend Concealer just to spot conceal it right here. Maybe a couple up on the forehead and same thing. I'm just gonna blend that out with the same sponge. I'm gonna be setting the face with the Glossier Wouder in the shade G11 to G12. I'm gonna use this underneath the eye area and then I'm also gonna take a larger brush and set the entire face with that just so that it's nice and locked in. Okay, let's go back to the eyes. I've been dying to just finish up this eye look. I'm loving these tones, it's perfect for fall. Okay, let's go ahead and dip into the shade Freckle in the Biba palette, which is this beautiful light brown. I'm gonna tap off the extra, and I'm gonna start to buff that along the entire lower lash line. And I'm also connecting it to the existing shades on the top lid on this outer corner. Okay, and then we're gonna dip into the corresponding shade in this palette. Oh man, I just dug my nails into one of the shades. Darn it. Anyways, we're gonna be taking the shade Camel. Same thing, I'm just gonna tap off the extra and I'm gonna buff this along the entire lower lash line. Again, making sure to blend it out toward the existing shadows on the outer portion of the eye. I'm actually gonna stay on this eye and I'm gonna dip into the mustard shade again called Plains. And I'm just gonna take the same brush and I'm making sure to really tap off the extra. And I'm going a little bit lower than that first shade and I'm just really buffing that out also. I really liked the yellow tones and what it contributed to the top lid. So I'm wanting to bring that down to the lower lash line and switching brushes, dipping into the Biba palette in the shade Prairie, which is that mustard shade again. And I'm just gonna use that to really warm up the lower lash line always making sure to blend it out and up toward the outer edge. This literally looks the exact same. <laughs> it's so crazy to me. I'm gonna go back into the brush that we used with that more burgundy shade, and this time I am gonna take Sierra in the Alter Ego palette. I'm gonna take a smaller brush and then just pinch it and use that on the outer portion of the lower lash line, about the outer third, and then I'm also using that to connect to the existing shadows above, and I'm making sure to have my powder brush handy to sweep away any fallout, because there definitely is some with that palette. I'm gonna switch brushes, taking the brush that we used with the burgundy shades there, and I'm dipping into Rayon, which is the corresponding shade, and same thing, I'm just gonna go ahead and buff this out along the lower lash line. Dipping back into the Sahara palette, I'm gonna take the shade Slate, and and I'm gonna use this to define the entire lower lash line right up against the lashes. Instead of using the black shadow, I thought it would be pretty to incorporate a little bit of that gray along the lower lash line. 
And I'm actually just gonna clean the brush right now and use that same brush in the corresponding shade in this palette called Tor right here. And I'm gonna do the same thing and just define the entire lower lash line. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the same brush that we used with the shimmer shade called Jewel, and I'm actually gonna dip into Mirage. I'm trying to use as many shades as possible, and I'm just gonna take that on the tip of the brush. I'm gonna tap off the extra, I'm gonna pinch the brush, and I'm going to apply that on the inner portion of the lower lash line. Same thing with this palette, I'm gonna take the shade Shine. I'm gonna get that on the tip of the brush and then pinch it and run it right here on the lower lash line. This is another one of my favorite shades in the palette. I think it's so pretty. Okay, I'm just gonna use my powder brush to dust away fallout again. And like I noticed before, there's really not much fallout on the Biba side, and there's definitely a little more fallout on the Alter Ego side. Okay, let's go ahead and pop on the same mascara on the lower lashes. I really do love this eye look. And I can't believe how similar they are. Okay, before we do the inner corner of the eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and warm up the complexion and kind of finish up the makeup. I'm gonna be taking the Milani Sunlight Silky Matte Bronzer. And this is in the shade 01. And I'm gonna take that on an inkled brush and just start to sculpt out my complexion a little bit more, warming up the cheeks and the forehead. I also like to go down the jawline or along the jawline and then down the neck. I also like to apply a little bit across the nose. And I just keep building until I get the amount of warmth that I want. I feel like the tone of this bronzer really works well with these eyeshadows. It has a little bit more of like a golden undertone, which I think is beautiful with those mustards that we did in the transition and on the lower lash line. I always take my powder brush and just blend out the bronzer. For blush, I wanted to use one of my favorite blushes. This is the Bare Minerals Beige for Days. I'm gonna be taking that with the e.l.f. highlighting brush, and I'm gonna smile and kind of apply that to the apples of the cheeks. Oops, I normally do um, highlighter first. Kind of forgot today. I'm gonna be taking the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. This was an Allure Best of Beauty Award winner, and you guys know how much I love this. And after filming that video, it reminded me of how beautiful this is, because I hadn't used it in a minute on my channel. I used to use this like in every video, and I just might be doing that again <laughs> after wearing it the other day. But anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight the high points of the face with this. So in a C shape around the brows, down to the front of the cheeks a little bit, down the center of the nose, and on the cupid's bow. I'm gonna wipe off any foundation or makeup that got on the lips. And I was really excited because I told you guys a couple videos back that I would be using the KKW Beauty 90s Supermodel Lip Combo because I didn't use it in that video and I told you guys that it was one of my favorites. I need to sharpen the pencil already. That's how much I love this. And I think it's gonna look beautiful with this look. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the 90s Supermodel Lip Liner. And I love this because it's a little bit more pinky. Like it literally matches my lip color perfectly. And I like to line and fill in the lips with this like look at how perfect of a match that is it's amazing this would honestly be such a beautiful lip color on its own since i'm using the matte lipstick that matches i'm just going to take a little bit of lip balm this one is from fresh and i just kind of dab that onto the lips you want to make sure that your lips aren't super dry with these otherwise it's going to accentuate any dryness i'm just going to go ahead and go into the 90s supermodel lipstick and i love these because they're named after each other but they correspond together see how that's a little bit lighter i just like to apply that in the center of the lips like that and then i take my finger and i blend it in and then press it into the lips is that not the most beautiful lip combo i'm beyond obsessed with this i think it's so pretty okay i'm gonna take a clean brush and i'm gonna dip back into the shade jewel on one side of the brush and again this is from the sahara palette oh i forgot to take off the um protective film on the mirror it's always very satisfying i love how there's a mirror in here and it's actually a very good quality mirror Anyways, I'm just gonna take that and use that to highlight the inner corner of the eye. Then I'm gonna use what's left and pop it underneath the brow. And then I'm going to flip over that same brush. I just don't have another clean one. And I'm gonna use the other side, which is clean, and I'm gonna dip into the corresponding shade in the Biba palette called Monroe. Sorry, I'm really trying not to dump out the black shade in here, which is why I'm not showing you those colors very well. And I'm just tapping that off and popping that in the inner corner as well. And then I'm also taking that on the brow bone. And I'm gonna take my finger and just press the shades into the brow, or that shimmer shade, I guess. I'm just brushing up the brows really quick and I'm gonna touch them up if they need a little more filling. Before I set the face, I'm gonna take a clean brush with a little bit of that Glossier powder and I'm gonna try to soften this right here. It's really bugging me. Is that working a little bit? I think it's working a little. Hmm, it kind of helped. You can still see it, but it's fine. I'm gonna take the brush that we use with the mustard shade on this eye and just kind of 
try to blend that in again. Huh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get rid of that. Oh well, what can you do? Let's assess the situation and make sure the bronzer is where I want it to be. And I'm gonna make sure I have enough blush. I didn't add any more product to this brush, but I just wanna make sure that we've got enough blush on the cheeks. I'm happy with how much highlighter we have. Let's go ahead and set the face. I'm gonna be using the Scandinavia Bridal Makeup Finishing Spray. I'm gonna spray this all over. Okay, oop, my handy fan. And once it's almost dry, I'm just gonna press that into the skin. I can't get over how similar this looks. Doesn't it just look like I finished a makeup look with the same palette? I feel like you would never know that I used two different ones. I'm going back into the brush that we used on the edges of the eye. This one is the one that I used with the Biba palette. And I'm just gonna try to buff off some of those mascara marks. I'm gonna switch brushes and do the same thing on this eye. Okay, you guys, now that the look is done, look at both of the eyes. I literally can't tell a difference. I mean, obviously I can because I know which one's which, but look at this. It's like the same. And I love the look. I'm going to call my husband. Maybe I'll just text him. I want him to come down here and guess which one was which. I've had him do this in the past two dupe videos that I filmed, because I think it's fun to see what other people would guess. Uh-huh. I'm here. Wow. Okay, babe. Tell me which. Close your eyes. They look the same. I know. What the heck? I know. Wait, let me see. Okay. Um. This side is Natasha Denona. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yeah, how, what, were, what was the difference no. that made you guess that? They look identical, but the only thing is the shimmer on top, it just seems more opaque. Oh wait, let me see. On let me this see. side? Let me see. There's mascara marks, sorry. They look the same, I kinda Don't just they? guessed though. Look at that. Yeah, That's... you were right, That's, this is Natasha Denona, this is Alter Ego, but- I'm shocked. You can't tell. Oh, did you have a little fingernail situation? Yeah, I messed it up. Crazy. Don't you love Wait, my eye look? Much, Nobody would notice. How much is that one? $16. Versus? 129. 129. Oh. My gosh. Mm -hmm. Well, there you have it, you guys. That completes this video comparing the Sahara palette to the Biba palette. I am absolutely floored and shocked and in love with the makeup look. I think that both palettes are beautiful. Obviously, you guys know I am a huge Natasha Denona fan. And if this palette is something that you guys are really interested in, I think that the formula is beautiful on these. I love Natasha Denona in general. But if a palette like that is out of your price range and you want something with these tones in it, I definitely feel like the Alter Ego Sahara palette is an amazing palette for the fall especially. I think these tones are gorgeous. I really feel like these tones are something that most of us would reach for every single day. The only con that I really noticed about this is there is definitely more fallout. The Natasha Denona shadows really are so high-end and so buttery and amazing that they don't really have too much fallout. But with that being said, the price difference is so extreme that I don't feel like I'm bothered by the fallout in this. I just kind of know to be a little extra careful when using this to make sure that it doesn't get all over the face. I used pretty much every shade in this palette. Let me swatch the bronze shade because I really want to see what this looks like side by side. So I'm going to start off with bronze from the Alter Ego palette. And then the corresponding shade is called Rustic from Natasha Denona. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out. Here's the shade from Natasha Denona and here's the shade from the Sahara palette. Very similar shades. Obviously there's some differences, but as you can see, once you apply them on the eyes, you really can't tell. Anyways, I know there's a couple other shades that I didn't use in this specific look, but based off of the other shades that I use, I'm pretty sure that this palette is an incredible, almost exact dupe to the Natasha Denona palette, and I'm so thrilled about it. I didn't mention this earlier, but I do actually have a coupon code with Alter Ego if you guys want to use it. This video is not sponsored by them, by the way. I just really am curious every single time they launch a palette. Um, they did send this to me, which is why I have it early. This palette is available today, I believe, and I will have it linked down below if you guys are interested in checking it out. This one is definitely my second favorite next to the Goddess palette from Alter Ego. And the Goddess palette is the Natasha Denona Gold palette dupe. So definitely the Goddess and the Sahara are my two favorites. And I can't believe that they're almost perfect dupes for the Natasha Denona palettes, which I've loved for so long. So if you haven't watched that video, I will have a link down below. I also have the dupe for the Huda Beauty 
new nude palette. I will have that link down below as well. But yeah, guys, this is crazy. I can't believe how my eyes look. I love both sides. I absolutely love this eye look and I can't believe the price difference in both. So let me know in the comments below what you guys thought about this dupe video. How do you think they compare? What do you think about each shade? Did you notice any differences during or after the application? I wanna know, leave a comment. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.